Hello everybody, my name is John. I'm from Monroe & Associates. Monroe & Associates is an engineering consulting firm based out of Auburn Hills, Michigan. We take a design first approach. We do that through benchmarking, teardown analysis, design optimization, and cost reduction. We also provide manufacturing optimization. Today, we are at the 2025 Battery Show and we are going to show you some of the places or the booths that we find interesting that we think you might find interesting. So stay tuned. Hey, I'm Alex Parker with Redline Detection and I'm here at the Battery Show Detroit with Monroe Live and John Wessendorf. And <clears throat> we're here to uh, showcase the event. With her, we're gonna do a walk around, a, a, a slow walk around. And we're going to talk about some of the things we see at the same time. She's going to promote her business, tell us what red line detection is all about, uh, where they're at currently and where, where she sees her business going forward in time. Absolutely. Let's talk about what's happening at the battery show, the state of the industry. Yep. Manufacturing is changing so much right now. We're here at the hub of automotive in Absolutely. Detroit. So there's a ton to see and a ton to talk about. Absolutely. So. If we look behind Eric, we can see some of the latest technology relative to um, uh, coating. So this is a, a pumping system, an extrusion system. Uh, we're not gonna actually go visit the booth because the purpose of this is just a walk around. And we'll try to key in on some of the things, some of the uh, products that we're gonna see that you okay, might have good. hands in. Okay. Listen, we are talking a lot about what's happening at the battery show here and the state of manufacturing yes. in Detroit and in the U.S. in general, because as a manufacturer, I can tell you that things have been really changing these last few months. We're under a lot of tariff pressure. Um, everybody is repatriating as much manufacturing as we can, which is a great thing for all of us. But it's right? also painful. It's, it's, a but slow it's also process. painful. Yeah, 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 exactly. You can't flip a switch, right? And just do that. So um, there are a lot of battery manufacturers here. There are a lot of OEMs that are here. And so we're having a lot of those conversations behind closed doors. Let's talk about it, John. Okay. And how we are all going to be in a real transition period here as we try to repatriate as much as we can as we make some shifts and in the battery and EV space, obviously losing some um, credits, some EV credits. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see what happens here very shortly and whether these vehicles can stand on their own merit without somebody putting their thumb on the scale. Over of, the test of time. Yeah, exactly. And whether or not these different manufacturers have to pivot yeah. and charter a new course. Yeah, okay, so CBD. I'm glad you brought that up. So I've got a bunch of meetings while I'm here in Detroit. Yesterday you were full with meetings. I, right? I, I just got back from Europe for like a month and meeting with OEs there yeah. and here, and I can tell you this, here's what I'm, what I'm hearing from automakers is, I keep asking the same question. How is this going to impact your path going forward? How is this going to shape your plan? And what I keep hearing is, listen, we are a battleship. We do not turn on a dime. These are steps that we have been in the works with decades. We are going to continue to evolve and innovate our powertrain technologies and options and continue to develop. And I'm really not hearing from anyone, listen, we're gonna make a hard turn on this or we're gonna hit the brakes on this. It's just, we're gonna to continue to develop all the powertrain options. We're gonna to continue to develop things that people want. And I mean, I just, you know, I was reading in the news that um, you know, GM was up, GM EV sales were up 105% year over year over last sales numbers. That's incredible. You said 105%? 105%, more than double their EV sales, right? And okay. I just went to Cadillac City and got to look at all of these new vehicles. Unbelievable. These vehicles can stand on their own. It doesn't matter whether there are any incentives behind them or not. I really think we're gonna see American automakers continuing to step up to design and engineer vehicles that are so well built, that are so quality and so innovative and just amazing design features. I think they're all going to do just fine. So the ICE engine vehicles, you require a whole lot more moving parts. Yeah, you're right. So all that attention to fo and focus on the details yeah. go there. The EV vehicle doesn't have as many moving parts. You're so right. So you're looking at much sleeker, slimmer, 
kick-ass designs. As you said, they Listen, can stand on their own. We, we, in, in this space, I, I think there was a really bad, wrong dialogue around this for a while that it was yeah. like ice versus EV, and it's that's not the there. case, yeah. right? This is an yet another development. Yeah. We are innovators, if nothing else. So this is another option. It's another area of development. ICE isn't going anywhere. New battery chemistries are making it a little more affordable yeah. for the general consumer. So right. Um, uh, the reshoring, yeah. the ability for us to perhaps mine materials from within yeah. the lower 48 is a big deal. Um, well, let's walk around and okay. have let's a look go. at some stuff. So John, I'm so glad you brought that up. There's so many changes in battery chemistry, yes. battery design. I'm loving the fact that They're there are so many American yeah. battery companies coming up here. And you know what Redline does, right? So we manufacture diagnostic equipment that will ensure that battery enclosures, battery coolant systems, motor housings, things, other EV systems are safely sealed because of course, in a high voltage nothing system, worse than intrusion. there's nothing worse, right? And what we're seeing now that there are a lot more EVs out in the world is that even a small amount of torsion, if there's a small collision, of course, but also just normal driving conditions, mm -hmm. is we're seeing that even the absolute best made vehicles, you know, perfectly sealed when they come off the factory floor, it's just gonna be part of maintenance. They're getting these, you know, small gaps in the seal of the battery enclosure, and then you risk intrusion of water, road dust, salt, and what happens when you get water and salt in a battery? Uh, you know, bad things happen. It's bad. Yes. <laughs> it's not a good day Up for to anyone, And including right? thermal runaway, which yeah. really is never a good day. It's a day record. Yeah. So your, your equipment is at floor level, your equipment, you know, testing the product before it gets out into the consumer. And it's also out there and it's available for general routine maintenance at consumer level as well. So, right? so our equipment is being used everywhere from the factory floor, testing equipment, batteries that are coming off the assembly line before they go in vehicles and after they go in vehicles. When those vehicles get out to the dealership level, if there's any maintenance or work being done on them, they ensure that it's safely sealed before it goes back out with a customer. And then after any, any small collision of any kind, the collision industry is saying they want a pre and post test to ensure that that vehicle is safe to do body work on, okay. right? That they're not gonna have a battery incident in their facility. Are these mandated now? So the collision industry is moving toward that, okay. right? Um, this technology that Redline owns the patents on and makes is at OEM dealer locations in 160 countries as essential equipment. Oh, yes. so okay. That is both on the side of traditional car makers who are doing a big ice business as well as EVA, mm -hmm. legacy, right? And EV native. Mm -hmm. So the companies who are strictly EV as well. So really most automakers now are using this as the state of the art accepted practice um, across testing all of these systems. And you know, it's pretty plug and play. It's, it's really simple to use. and. It eliminates human error, and so, yeah, so, to, you know, with, with most batteries, they have a cooling plate or a coolant arterial system in them, and so there are a couple ways that you can have dangerous leaks in a battery. It can either be from the outside, if you have an enclosure yep. or inside, leak, right? Absolutely. Or from the inside. That's so right. you can get coolant that leaks into the battery enclosure as well, which is equally as problematic. Do you also use your equipment to check the, the cooling plates? Yes. Uh, so I yeah. did not know that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Cool. So, um, and you know, we own the patents on this technology. It's quite small. So the equivalent lab testing equipment, you know, is bolted to the floor in a factory and it's 10 feet tall and weighs 4,000 pounds and that would costs make it hundreds of thousands of dollars, yes. right? Yes. We, it's just like your cell phone. Yeah. You have a whole computer in your hand now, right? So we now have pocket, something that's pocket, this yes. big. Mm -hmm that will do the job of this major lab testing equipment that's totally portable, that can move within dealer locations or battery labs um, yeah. or collision facilities. Portable maybe. meaning it's not heavy. You can pick it yeah. up like a carry-on suitcase. 20 pounds, carry even, even I can suitcase. pick it up. Yeah. Uh, well, you look pretty strong to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we had a podcast, and we were talking about this before this shoot, 
we had a podcast together maybe two weeks before Christmas last year. And how much has your business grown since then? Oh my gosh. I know you're traveling so a lot. Yeah, really, I, I mean, I, I couldn't be more thankful. And we've talked about this before, you know, um, as an American manufacturer, we just take so much pride in the fact that this technology is at work in 160 countries. And that even the really big European OEs, Asian OEs are reaching out to an American technology manufacturer for us to design and make and yeah, uh, engineer yeah. their yeah. diagnostic equipment. And I'm really that. proud of that. Yeah. Our team at Redline is incredible. They're just and you're extremely nimble, and innovative, you're extremely really nimble. nimble. Yes. Yeah, we're really agile because listen, how fast is our industry changing, right? I mean, so quickly. So you have to be really responsive. If there's one thing I would say right now, it is push on the innovation side. We're changing so fast and continue to be really agile. At Redline, we have a unique ability to work with an automaker who says, listen, we need to start testing these enclosures or maybe, goodness, you know, we might be having a problem in the field. Our ability to engineer a custom solution that is absolutely programmed to their vehicles, their battery sizes, volumes, types, so it's completely foolproof and get a piece of equipment in their hand to validate and then make that and get it to them is super fast. So we can be very, very responsive in a matter of weeks. Are you saying that your equipment has, is, has to be calibrated per application? So the equipment is calibrated as well as it self calibrates to environment every time it's used. But what happens is the software covers every vehicle model and every battery model so that when you get out to the technician level at dealer service they're not having to do the math and figure that out all they're doing is scanning the vin or putting in the battery code and pops right up so it's foolproof so they're not going to over pressurize it they're going to make sure it's done correctly and then the equipment tells them yep it passed or no you've got a leak and here's what to do next and then it logs and gives you reports that can be digitally sent to any stakeholders. So like at the dealer level, uh, that yes. would mean uh, warranty department or field service or battery design lab. You've, um, you've shared a lot of the uh, features that your product offers within the battery world. Mm -hmm. um, if you look outside the battery world, what else are you working on? Outside of EV, our equipment's being used, I mean, first of all, in 160 countries yes. at, right, by automakers, yes. but really, really fun. We're also doing projects in um, electric, electric motor aviation okay. and um, marine applications, speedboats, stationary power, so our equipment's being used in charging systems. So lots and so lots of So it's still inside the battery world, obviously, just outside the EV world. Yeah, absolutely, the vehicle absolutely. Okay, so it's cool. really exciting. Um, it's an exciting time right now. We're expanding really rapidly. The future looks really bright. We really rely on a lot of the suppliers who are here that we work closely with. And there's some amazing people here at the Battery Show in Detroit. Um, I think in order to do what we do best and what Redline Detection does best is really innovative custom engineering exactly what that vehicle maker needs and do it in a really agile way. Design it, rapid prototyping, we use all kinds of fabrication and 3D printing and rapid prototyping strategies so that we can come up with solutions in record time and have them in the hands of our OE partners who need those solutions, you know, in, in a matter of, of just days and weeks. Yeah, I remember you telling me that in the podcast, all that stuff that you just mentioned happens behind your office yeah, wall. Yeah, absolutely, building, right? absolutely. We have it right in house. And being an American manufacturer, having all of that capability right here means that we can design things, validate them, and manufacture and quality check and ship out record time we nice. can be super responsive good so nimble and quick nimble and quick awesome yeah so absolutely. you want to close this out as yeah. you open it so i'll let you close yeah it, absolutely right? john it's always so great to talk yeah. to you i love monroe live huge fan love being here yeah. at the battery show in detroit and rock on rock go on. usa yeah go usa